Sairam children. Good morning. Okay, let's revise some of the important formulae which we have studied in the previous sessions. A plus B, the whole bracket multiplied by A minus B. What is the answer? It is A square minus B square. A plus B, the whole bracket multiplied by A minus B is equal to A square minus B square. Now, we can also say a square minus b square is equal to a plus b the whole bracket multiplied by a minus b. So, we can say that the factors of a square minus b square are a plus b, a minus b. So, we have done this important formula in the previous session a square minus b square that is a plus b the whole bracket multiplied by a minus b. So, they are the a plus b, a minus b are the factors of a square minus b square. So, today we will do new chapter. Chapter 6. Factorization of algebraic expressions. An expression of the form a x square plus b x plus c is called a quadratic trinomial. Now, what is a trinomial? Trinomial is if there are three terms in the expression. And here, there are three terms. That is, a x square, one term is a x square, second term is b x, third term is c. So, as there are three terms, it is a trinomial. Now, let us see the degree. Now, first term a x square, your variable is x and the index of x is 2. Now, second term is b x. So, variable is x and as we cannot see the index, it is understood the index is 1 and the third term is c. So, here variable is not there. It means the variable is x raised to 0. Any number raised to 0 is 1. It means it is having the variable x but its index is 0. So, when now here the highest index that is the high is 2. So, when the highest index we also call it degree. So, highest degree is 2 it is known as quadratic. So, this expression a x square plus b x plus c is called a quadratic trinomial. Now, we have done this important formula. x plus a, the whole bracket multiplied by x plus b. Now, here the first term is common. Which is the first term common? x, x term is common. And what is the answer? x plus a the whole bracket multiply by x plus b. It is x square. It is x square plus addition of the second terms. So, a plus b the whole that is a plus b the whole bracket multiply with x plus a b. Right children? This is the formula we have studied. Now, x plus a, the whole bracket multiplied by x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b, the whole bracket multiplied with x plus a b. Now, the important thing here you have to understand here is as it is a trinomial, there are three terms. Right? First term, this is a first term. It is, we can also say square term. This is a middle term or second term. And this second term is the addition of the terms. This second term is formed by addition of the second terms. We also call it middle term. And this is the last term. And last term is the product of the terms. So, this will help us to factorize the quadratic trinomial. 
So once again you have to see the children. This is the first term that is x squared is the first term. The middle term, middle term is, is the addition of the term and the third term is the product of the terms. So we can also say the factors of x square plus a plus b the whole bracket multiply with x plus a b are x plus a the whole bracket multiply by x plus b. So x plus a and x plus b they are the factors of the expression x square plus a plus b x plus a b. Now this table will help us to find the factors. The question is find the factors of 6 whose sum is 5. So we have to find the factors of which number? 6. So which are the factors of 6? The factors of 6 are 1 is 1 and 6 and 1 is 2 and 3. So there are two pairs that is 1 and 6 or 2 and 3. Now we have to find the factors of 6 but the sum should be 5. So what we will do children? First we will find the factors. As first pair is 1 and 6. 1 is always a factor and the number itself. And you know what is a factor? Factor is a number by which it is completely divisible. For example, if we say 6, it is divisible by 1. 1 is a factor of all numbers. It is, 6 is also divisible by 6, the same number. And the second pair is 2 and 3. 6 is divisible by 2? Yes. When the remainder is 0, it is divisible. We say it is completely divisible. So, 2 is the factor. Even 6 is divisible by 3? Yes, so 3 is also the factor. Now, first condition is we have to find the factors. And the second thing is we have to take that pair whose sum is 5. It means whose addition is 5. Now, when you add 1 and 6, the addition is 7. Second pair 2 and 3, addition is 5. So, which factor we will take? 2 and 3. Which pair we will take? 2 and 3. Its sum is 5. And product of the term, you multiply 1 with 6, you will get 6. You multiply 2 with 3, you will get 6. Which factor we are going to take? 2 and 3 whose sum is 5. So, find the factors of 6 whose sum is 5. Because you will get many pairs of the factors. So, restriction is sum. We have to see what sum is asked and according to choose the factors. Now, here is one example. Factorize x square plus 5x plus 6. Now, comparing x square plus 5x plus 6 with which formula? The formula x square plus a plus bx plus ab. So, this question x square plus 5x plus 6 when you compare with x square plus a plus bx plus ab. So, always remember children, this is our middle term that is a, a plus b and that is how it is formed by addition of the terms. So, this is our middle term. This is the first term x square. This is our first term x square. This is the 5x and this is how it is formed by middle terms a plus b x addition term. This is the last term third term 6 and it is the product. So our middle term that is additional term is 5. We want a plus b 5. That factors we will take whose sum is 5 and a b is product is 6. So same expression x square plus 5x plus 6 is equal to x square plus which factors we will take? We have seen in the table 
that 2 and 3. 2 and 3 sum is 5. So that only we are going to take x square plus this 5x is written as 3 plus 2x plus 3 into 2. Same factors you multiply also. That is 3 to the 6. So this is the addition. 3 plus 2, 5. And this is the product, 3 into 2. And now this quadratic trinomial, that is 3 terms are there. And now we will be writing it in the form of 4 terms. So x square, one term is x square plus 3x plus 2x. So this 5x we have split. We have divided it into 3 plus 2, that is 3x and 2x. So x square plus 3x plus 2x plus 6, that is 3 into 2. So 4 terms we have got. Now 2, 2 terms, underline 2, 2 terms. So from these 2 terms, we will find the common factor. From here also we will find the common factor. So now see the first pair, this one. Now what is common? X is common. Uncommon is x plus 3. Here what is common? 2. 2 is there. And uncommon when 2 you take common and x is there. Sign plus and 3. Again you observe properly children x plus 3 full bracket is common here also. It is common here also. So full bracket common we will take x plus 3 full bracket. It is common. So full bracket if you take common what is remaining is from here it is remaining x and here it is remaining 2. So the factors are x plus 3, x plus 2. So this is the way we have to factorize the quadratic trinomial. When we will do more sums it will become easier for you. The question is we are starting with practice set. Practice set 6.1. First sum. X square plus 9X plus 18. Now what you have to remember children it is. That. This is our first term. X square. This is 9X. And this is 18. Remember middle term is addition. And this is product. And we have to find the product of factors of product and that it is 18 so we have to find the factors of 18 so let's find the factors of 18 now factors of 18 all numbers are divisible by 1 it means 1 is a factor so 1 is a factor and 18 the number itself then we are finding the factors of 18 right second number is 2 is 18 divisible by 2? Yes. So 2, how many is 18? 9 is Is the number divisible by 3? 18? Yes. So 3, how many is 3? 6 is 18. Is 18 divisible by 4? No. 4 is not a factor. It is not completely divisible. Remainder will not be 0. Is it divisible by 5? No. Is 18 divisible by 6? Yes. So we have written the factors. 6 and 3, 2 and 9. After writing these factors of the product. So first step is we have to find the factors of the last term which is product term. And now what we have to do? We have to take that pair whose sum is the middle one that is 9x. 9. So we have to find the addition of the factors 1 plus 18. That is 1 plus 18 is 19. We can take this pair? No. Second, 2 and 9. It is 11. Can we take that? No. 3 plus 6. It is 9. We can take that? Yes. So which factors we are going to take? 3 and 6. As it is a first term, beginning, it will take time for you to children find the factors. Later on, we will be doing it orally. Mentally, you will be able to do and find the factors. So this first step is find the factors. Which factor we are going to take? That is the which pair? 3 and 6. Okay. So this is was the explanation. How to find the factors. Now solution. How we are going to 
star solution right so our question is x square plus 9x plus 18 and we are going to find the product of, that is factors of 18 which factors 6 and 3 another important thing is children you have to take care of the sign see the sign here it is positive so it is positive 18 it is you have to find the factors of positive plus 18 now when we get the factors positive when both the terms are positive or both the terms are negative if you multiply two positive terms product is positive if you multiply two negative terms it is positive now which one to take then will help us the middle term that is middle term sign will help you middle term is positive so always remember one thing middle term sign always you give to the biggest factor bigger factor so if middle term is positive our bigger factor 6 is also positive if 6 is positive 2 positives will give you positive product so 3 is also positive so I have not shown plus sign it is understood if you don't put plus sign they are plus so the factors are 6 and 3 both are positive and when you add them if you multiply 6 and 3 you get 18 if you add them 6 plus 3 then they will 6 and 3 if you add them you will get 9 ok 6 plus 3 you add 9 if you multiply 18 so which are the factors 6 and 3 now which is the next term step we have to write this quadratic trinomial that is 3 terms in 4 terms so what I have done is x square plus 6x plus 3x plus 18 so this 9 is split 9 is split into 6 and 3 so next step is x square plus 6x plus 3x plus 18 now make a group of 2 that is Underline them. x square plus 6x. Underline it. 1. 3x plus 18. Underline. So make a group of 2, 2. Now in this two terms, what is common? x is common. If x is common, uncommon is x plus 6. And here also 3 is common. So 3 is common, uncommon is x plus 6. And you will surely get one bracket common. So here which bracket common we have got x plus 6. So if x plus 6 is common then uncommon is right x plus 6 in bracket another put bracket now this x is left right there plus 3 is left right there. It means factors of x square plus 9x plus 18 are x plus 6 x plus 3. So this is the way we will be factorizing. So children we will continue in the next session. So till now what you are going to do, do the same sum three times and try to understand how to find the factors. Thank you. Sairam.